Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is part 3 of our SQL Server tutorial series. In this part, we will learn about creating, dropping tables in SQL Server. So, I will fire up my SQL Server Management Studio by double click on this. Now, it will take some time to open SQL Server Management Studio. Now, I will connect to this uh, database engine. And now here we have this uh, database step we uh, in our previous tutorial we have uh, created uh, some databases here and then we deleted now I will create another one here so new database and here I will use the database name as uh, test DB and now I'll uh, click OK to create it now I'll maximize this management studio and now we will add in uh, a table using the designer as well as the query so uh, right click on this table on this new and on this table again and now it is asking us to uh, enter a column name a data type and if we, we allow null or not allow null now I will add the column name as uh, ID and uh, the data type is uh, int and uh, um, I will not allow null because we will make in our next tutorial this uh, as primary key and primary key cannot be null so I'll enter the second one as name so the data type will be n walk r and it will be the length will be 50 and uh, I'll not allow null and uh, then father name father name and the length will be the data type will be in work or and uh, the length will be 50 and uh, uh, we will not allow, uh, allow null and now we will use gender id and uh, this will be uh, int and uh, we will allow null into this if someone do not provide his uh, gender and uh, here I will use um, address and the data type will be n walk and the length will be 255 because uh, uh, mostly addresses uh, are long so I will allow null if someone do not provide his uh, address now how can we save this uh, table I will control is it and now here I can give it a name std table which means student table and I will click OK to save it now it will take some time to save the table will be created in this uh, table so if I expand this now you can see that the table is created so if I right click on this and uh, go to design it will show me this design and now if I uh, want to enter some data into it so I'll right click on this and uh, I will edit uh, 200 rows and now I can enter ID 1 and uh, name uh, uh, Khan and father name uh, Ali Khan and uh, gender ID 1 and then address uh, uh, Peshawar Pakistan and then I will enter the another record to and uh, uh, Mariam and the father name is uh, Ali not Ali Adil and uh, gender is 2 and uh, uh, address is uh, 
Islamabad, Pakistan. And now I'll enter another record to show you the null. So this is a uh, three, and uh, uh, if I uh, uh, leave it as null, and if I enter here, uh, Khan Gol, and uh, if I enter here, uh, null, and if I enter here. Karachi Pakistan and now if I enter another record it is showing me the data in row 3 was not committed so because uh, and .NET uh, provider null into the column cannot insert a value null into the column because we have not allowed null in this uh, column so you can't uh, allow null in this, so I will enter a name, and uh, the name will be uh, Asad. And now, if I enter into this record, uh, so now it rec this record is saved, uh, and uh, we have entered the gender null because we have allowed uh, null into this uh, uh, column. Now, if want to, uh, if I control this it, and if I close this. And now if I want to see these records, so I'll right click on this, select up 1000 rows and it will get me these records here. Now you can see all the three records here. Now I'll close it down and uh, we will create a table with the uh, query. So I'll create new query and make sure here uh, we select this uh, test DB if another a database is selected then the query will be executed in the context of uh, that database and the table will be created in this uh, database now if the, here the master is selected so if I execute a query then that uh, query will be executed in this master database so I'll again change it to this DB and now here I will create a table with query so I'll uh, create a table create use the create uh, keyword then the table and uh, then the table name so I'll use the gender as the table name or std gender and now I'll specify the columns now I'll put the parentheses and uh, now the ending parentheses and uh, here I'll provide the column names and the data types of the column so the first one is the ID and uh, it is a uh, end and uh, not null then comma and then I will use uh, uh, gender uh, and it will be uh, n wall car and I will use uh, uh, 50 or say 10 characters length and it will also be not null and now if I execute this query now command uh, completed successfully now you can see we can't it is not showing the table here so if I refresh this uh, refresh and now you can see we have a, a student gender table now if I right click on it and go to design you can see that we have a, uh, these two uh, columns in this uh, student gender table now we will enter some record into this uh, with the query so we will come here and uh, create a new query and uh, in this new query I'll use insert keyword into
insert into gen std gender and now here we will use uh, values and uh, then we will enter the value so the first one is int so I will enter one ID and then the gender so I'll put uh, these quotes and uh, now I'll use mail and now I'll close in the parentheses now if I execute this now you can see that uh, one row is uh, affected now if I go to this uh, gender table and uh, select up 1000 row it will show me this one record mail now I will enter another value as well so I'll make this uh, 2 and uh, remove this 2 and I'll make this female fee male and I'll execute it and it will insert the other record as well so if I go to select top 1000 rows now you can see that it has uh, uh, created these two records now now next we will learn about uh, removing all the records from uh, a table with a single query so for that we use truncate and now I'll truncate this uh, uh, student table table is uh, table keyword and then st uh, std table and now first let me show you the records in the student table and then we will execute this select up 1000 rows and we have three records in this and now if I go to this and now if I execute this query now you can see it is successfully completed and now if I uh, select up the 1000 rows from this table you can see that all the records are gone uh, so truncate uh, uh, remove all the records from the table with a single execution now next we will drop uh, on this uh, table so you can drop it either by designer by right clicking on this uh, a table and then delete it and you can also use the drop query so uh, I will use uh, delete this with the designer delete and now if I click OK now you can see that the uh, student table is deleted and now I will drop this with the query this uh, student gender table so I'll use drop keyword so drop table and uh, is td table and now if I execute this it will delete this or uh, uh, because it does not exist uh, or do not have the formation it has given us this uh, error now I am dropping the uh, student table which I already dropped so that is why it is using uh, cannot drop the table this td table because it does not exist or you do not have formations so we do not have any student table anymore so that is why it is showing this error so I'll make this a student gender and now if I execute this it will drop this table and now if I refresh this table uh, folder now you can see the table is gone so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you